A proposed concrete batch plant for this plot of land just south of the Nampa Airport runway has caused serious concerns for neighbors and airport users. I'm your Nampa neighborhood reporter Keith Burrell and this is a story I've been following for you for months. The project is proposed by a company named Sunrock and they reached out to me to give me an exclusive tour of one of their existing facilities so I could see firsthand what happens inside. Because we have a powder truck that is delivering cement Imported cement is loaded into an enclosed silo for step number one at this concrete batch plant off Highway 2026 in Caldwell. For months, Nampa residents have been at odds with the Sunrock Company's plans to build another concrete batch plant in Nampa just south of the airport. They're concerned about everything from traffic and air quality to road conditions and aircraft maintenance at the airport. What is the primary concern now? Roads. The roads. Yeah. The traffic. The traffic. 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 The potential site would create a new source and destination for Sunrock vehicles, but those mixers would be traveling fewer miles. There are multiple, I mean, we're talking dozens and dozens of projects that we're having trucks go up to in the Nampa area. And, and essentially, the reason why we're even looking at a site in the Nampa area is for that reason right there alone. The opportunity of having a concrete batch facility closer to where the work is just allows that process, it speeds up that process. There's a This is basically what the site in Nampa would look like. Clean, already clean sand, already clean gravel. Sprinkler on there right now that is watering it. And how often do you keep it watered and why do you keep it watered? We keep it watered so that the moisture in the rock doesn't take away from the moisture that's required in the concrete. Sand and gravel take a conveyor belt excursion to be weighed and combined with a cement powder and water in a mixer, officially becoming concrete. The dirtiest step is the transfer of, of pre-mixed, ready-mixed concrete from that barrel into the truck. Returning rigs receive a wash and the extra sand and gravel are divided and rewashed. Leftover cement powder is recycled and used as backfill at cement plants. The potential Nampa site, sitting on just under eight acres, would use a new technology to separate the materials while reducing water waste in a smaller space. A filter press is going to instantaneously separate, you know, and squeeze the water out from the solids, the, the dirt, the cement, and the water can imme immediately be repurposed to wash out mixers, clean the site. If the planning and zoning were to put in traffic mitigation measures that they would have to, that Sunrock would have to pay for to improve the roads, out, perhaps widen, I don't know, they can add anything they want into, would there be anything in that way that would you guys would find acceptable? No, no I don't know. Uh, no. They'll be we're taking people's be land away. <clears throat> Sunrock is still appealing the city's decision to deny their second conditional use permit after their first conditional use permit was revoked. And that will be heard by city council sometime in May. From Nampa, I'm your Nampa neighborhood reporter Keith Burrell for Idaho News 6.